Hello guys, so welcome back to our Beach Day Lessons. In today's lesson, we're gonna explore the first design of the two-bit multiplier. So in our lectures, we discovered that there are, or we studied that, we have learned that there are two designs for this uh, circuit, okay? In which it multiplies the two uh, numbers, binary numbers, each one is two bits. So this is basically the, you know, the, uh, the design you have, uh, you know, uh, a circuit, digital circuit that we are gonna design. And you see, there are two bits, I'm sorry, there are two uh, inputs, each one is two bits. And we discovered that uh, the output should be four bits because three by three is, is nine and nine is one, zero, zero, one. So four bits, okay? Uh, in the lecture, we studied also that we, a straightforward approach, which is basically the first design, is to basically uh, draw the truth table, okay? Uh, and once you have the truth table, you have, uh, you can construct functions, expressions between each output here, each bit of the, you know, the result C, and the four inputs. And they basically the four inputs here are uh, the two bits of each input we have, each, of each binary number we have, okay? I showed you in the lecture, guys, uh, one uh, function, which is basically uh, C3, this guy here, which is basically, the, you know, the easiest. It's just one one in the whole kernel of math. And here is the rest. Okay, here is the rest. So uh, this is basically, see, this is the one that we did in the lecture. And here is, uh, you know, the rest of them. So uh, you have C0. So in C0, we have four ones these four ones, these two ones, and these two ones. And accidentally, they are, you know, form a group, which is really nice, of course. And this will give you A0, B0, okay? Then uh, this is C1, you know, again, you have four groups here, and this is C2, you have, again, uh, two groups, okay? It's a very straightforward. So basically, in your design in which daily you will have, uh, something to describe the entity. The entity is, is our design here, our box here, two binary inputs, A and B. Each one is two bits, one down to zero. And the output C is four bits, three down to zero. So this is basically the entity, you know, the description of the design from, from outside, we can say. Now the, uh, the design itself from inside, will be basically these four equations. So uh, C of zero is A zero, B zero, which is basically A of zero ended with B of zero. Then C of one, you have four terms here. Here are the four terms. You know, it's a sum of product. Sum, which is these uh, plus signs, or basically or gate, or, and you have four uh, product terms, A1, for example, and the not B1, and B0, and so on for the rest. Then Z2, uh, C2, you have uh, two terms here, uh, A1, not A0, B1, A1, not A0, B1, or A1, not B0, and B1. This is the second term. And finally, the one that we did in the lecture, which is C3, which is, you know, uh, just end all of them together, you know. Uh, and here is the ending between all of them. Okay, and just four expressions, four equations, very simple. Now let's look at uh, the test bench. So we need a test bench of this multiplier to bits version one. Let's search for it. Okay, here it is. So we are doing this uh, for our multiplier to bits version one or design one. Okay, we have, this is basically copy and paste from the entity of your design. Okay, then you define signals just, you know, uh, in numbers equal to the number of input and outputs you have, where each signal will represent or be connected to one of these uh, inputs or outputs. 
And here is, you know, uh, the connection. Here you are instantiating uh, an instance of your design and connect these signals together. Then here you are trying all the combinations. Okay, all the combinations. So basically, each one of these two numbers is two bits. If we look at the truth table here, two bits. Two bits means the maximum numbers can exist. Number can represent a three. Okay. So I'm gonna try zero multiply by zero, then zero multiply by one, then zero multiply by two, then zero multiply by three. Then when A becomes zero, I mean the whole number A, which is A zero and A one together become one. Don't try again zero because you tried it already zero uh, and uh, multiplied with zero, which is zero. Uh, this, this case here. So start from one by one. So if you look here at the second loop, so the first loop I am assigning to A numbers from, from zero to, to three, from zero to three. In the second loop, I'm assigning to B, but I'm not assigned, I'm not, I'm not assigning the same number that I tested before. So for example, when A is zero, when I is zero, it means A is zero because this, this line here will convert I, the constant I into standard logic number or vector, okay, or unsigned vector, or unsigned number. So uh, when, I, when I assign values to B, I will start by I. So for when I is zero, J will be from zero to three. So zero multiplied by zero, zero multiplied by one, zero multiplied by two, zero multiplied by three. Then when I become one, I already, Try the zero multiply by one here. This case in, in our, when I when I was zero, so I will start from one now. So I'm gonna start from this case one by one, one by two, one by three. Then when I become uh, one, I will start uh, when I become uh, two. I will start from two. So I I will not test two by zero because I already tested it here two by zero. I will not test two by one or two times one because I already tested it here, in this case. So I'm just to start from two, two multiplied by two and two multiplied by three and so on. Okay, just like what we did in the uh, in, in, in our others before, BCD other or just or even binary other. Okay. Then uh, let's check the let's let's simulate this. So start simulation work. Let's search for uh, that multiplier two bits version one. Test bench. Okay. So here it is. You just need to add these signals in here. And we need to convert them to, into unsigned, so it will be easier for us to check the result. And it's really very small set, so don't you know run? Uh, we need maybe twenty. Let's say twenty. It's, it's much you know less than this, but that's that doesn't hurt. So let's check. Uh, we need yes to zoom out to see a more result at the same time. And okay, now zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is one. Uh, is zero. So let's let's uh, you know let's convert the C into our uh, into yellow, the color I mean of the signal, to be more clear for us. Yeah. So zero times zero is zero. So this is uh, the output of the multiplication. Zero times one is zero. Zero times two is zero. Zero times three is zero. Then one times one, again, I must, I, because I checked before zero times one, so I'm not checking it again. So that way you will, you will have less set to, you know, for testing. Then one uh, times two is, uh, is two, one times three is three, two by two, four, two by three, six, three by three is nine, this is the last. Okay, this is the last case. Okay, guys, that was uh, uh, the implementation of, uh, it's a two-bit multiplier, binary multiplier. And in the next video, we're gonna explore another uh, design for it, which is a hierarchical design 
Okay, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.